Hey there guys, Rex here and welcome back to the Alex Career Mode here on FIFA 17. Last round we started the season with our first match of the season, unfortunately a nil-nil draw. Not the most exciting, but we'll try and get better over time and uh, see if we can do better. We also made some signings already, so uh, if we go over to the squad now, we actually didn't change any signings for the first team, but we did strengthen our bench. We brought in Fosu Mensa uh, as a new uh defensive midfielder of course we did sell Gudelia and uh, we also brought in Nathan Ake as a backup left back so we strengthened our defensive uh, backups a little bit which was highly necessary and we are still looking at a backup winger with Bailey being our target currently so we'll have to see if we hear back from him today one other thing I really want to do is do a lot of youth development. So I'm going to go ahead and find this guy, Jules Peters, another youth scout. We're just going to hire him as well. And we'll set him out. Wait, where was this guy at? In Belgium. Oh, and this Belgian guy can't go to Belgium already. I don't want to send him to the Netherlands because I kind of want the Dutch scout to go there. Maybe we could send him to... Denmark, we always get Danish talent, so yeah, why not? We'll we'll do that. Nine months to Denmark. All right, Herefein have accepted our 900,000 counter for Forbur, so he will most likely be leaving to Herefein. And some good news. Bailey has accepted the offer. 7 million in Tulani Serrero, only 10,000 on wages. That is so cheap. We would still have so much left. Actually, our wages would increase because Tulani Serrero is in higher wages. I think I think we should just do it. I think Bailey would be an absolutely phenomenal player for us. He can play on both wings too, so that would be very, very helpful. And I think that would round out our team so nicely that we don't really have to do any other purchases. And yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and accept this offer. And the confirmation, Diederik Boer has indeed been sold. Next up, we have a match at home against Sparta, one of the promoted sites this season. Uh, so we should be able to get a win here, although they do play some pretty good football. Still though, I think we can get the win. I'm going to go with the same 11 as last time, but uh, Bailey does make the bench, so maybe he can come on as an impact sub at some point. Let's get into it. Now Sparta with a cross into the box. Oh, that shot could have been really dangerous, but he completely mishits it. First chance of the game for Sparta here, but yeah, that was a very, very poor mishit. All right, free kick here. Ziyech is on the ball. Let's see if we can cross this into the box, get a header or an overhead kick by Al Ghazi. That was probably even worse than their attempt. Like he chests it down and a turn and shot would have been much better. Oh, missed time tackle. Sparta is through, get a shot off and it hits the bar. Still danger because they are still in the box. We got to get this out here. Tate and no, but good save by Krull. We pass it back to them. Oh my god, my defending is awful right now. Oh, Ghazi, true for Ziyech. Ziyech is passed there. Ziyech now, player coming into the box. No, but it falls for Traoré. He shoots it wide. Oh, Ghazi now, true for Bazour. Bazour finds Traoré, Traoré. And he scores off the inside of the post. The first goal of this career mode is scored by Traoré. Good ball from Bazour here. And Traoré, I thought for a second that was going wide. But he just barely gets it on the inside of the post. And we are 1-0 up. Now Sparta immediately want to do something back. I missed the tackle and they do immediately score. My defending is so poor. Like I missed like seven different tackles there or something. He just walks through my entire team and puts it in the corner. I am absolutely ashamed by that defending on my end. That was just awful. Glass on the ball now. Glass feeds it through for El Ghazi with a shot. Keeper saves it. And it's out for a corner. Ziyech now, true for Traoré, who is on the wing. He needs to come inside. He does take a shot then. Not a good shot. Ziyech now, finds Traoré, Traoré, finds Klaassen, Klaassen has to put this away. No, he hits the post. 
Oh, classic. Could have put us 2-1 up right before half time, but he fails to put it in the net. Yunus, though, with some good pressure, cuts inside, lays that in, but good clearance from Sparta. It's gonna be another corner. Whip this into the box. Header now. No one gets there. At the edge of the box, Riedewald. Good strike, but just over the bar. Oh, they just give it away to Yunus here. I thought that was going to be the last chance of the first half, but he just passes it and to his defender and Yunus can intercept and he puts that in the net. That is some poor, poor play from their keeper and a good finish from Amin Yunus to put his 2-1 up right before halftime. Traoré through for Ziyech. Ziyech with a bit of pace. Ziyech feeds it through for Traoré. Traoré put away another. No, he fails to put it away. Yunus keeps it in. Finds Klaassen at the edge of the box. Klaassen can't do anything with it. Dijks though. Still on the ball. Still the attack is going. Dijks just runs through. Uh, let's pass this back. Yunus. No, Yunus doesn't do anything with it. Let's uh, try to bring that into the box. Header. No. Falls for Riedewald. Riedewald. Take a shot. No, it doesn't work. Falls in the box. Can we shoot? Yes. What? A strike there. Is that Hakim Ziyech? Oh, that was a wonderful strike. Riedewald's shot gets blocked and deflected, but Ziyech picks up in the box there, and what a power he gets on that, in that spot. That is absolutely phenomenal. And I'm gonna give Leon Bailey his debut now. We are 3-1 up. So Gadi is coming off and Leon Bailey can start at the right flank today. And uh, we can see if he is a good signing for us or not. Let's see if we made the right choice by bringing him, bringing him into the team. But the throne, we still have an opportunity here. Dykes. Classic, classic to Bazour. Bazour. Let's give this through for Bailey. Bailey, can he score on his debut? No, the keeper saves. Would have been nice to score on his debut, but good effort nonetheless. Now one last corner here. Keeper punches it, and it's cleared. And that should be the end of the match, or are we going to get one more opportunity? We are going to get one more opportunity. Leon Bailey here comes into the box. Comes into the box. And again, another great save from the keeper. From this corner then, can we do anything? No, it's punched away. Yunus picks up here at the end. Let's take it long distance shot. Keeper easily catches it and that is the end of the match. A 3-1 victory. I am very happy with that. The team played well. I had some awful defending on their goal that I conceded. But other than that, I am happy with how the match played out. Some good goals scored and uh, Bailey making his first minutes for the team. And doing a bit more training. Dolberg has gone up to 70 overall now. With 70 finishing as well. That's good to see. Because he is of course going to be my future striker. As soon as Traoré goes back. Dolberg is probably going to be my starter. Our next match is away to Pexvalle. I'm going to start with the same 11 as last time. Because well they played well together. And never changed the winning team right? Let's go into the match. Pexvalle have an attacker. Cross comes in. But to no one. Dykes can pick up easily and uh, we might be able to launch our own attack from here. See if we can feed El Ghazi true. He needs to use a bit of pace. He does and he doesn't do anything else with that. Should have taken a shot earlier probably. Ziyech on the ball now. Gives that true for El Ghazi. El Ghazi gives it back to Ziyech. Ziyech Takes the shot, it's in the side netting. Gazi finds Traoré. Traoré plays out his player very nicely. And then has an awful, awful shot. He was true on goal entirely and that's all he can produce. Bazour. True for Yunus. Yunus back in for Bazour. Bazour. Shot is blocked. Lhasa out wide to Yunus. Yunus. Yunus gives this through for Traoré. Traoré. This time he does put it in the back of the net. And we are 1-0 up. Good pass by Yunus here. Pass the defender and Traoré again in a lot of space. And this time he 
has a much better effort, luckily for us. And uh, he scores his second goal of the season, I think that is. Time for the second half. Gonna bring Bailey on for El Ghazi right at the start. So Bailey can get an entire half to show his skills. Rather than just, you know, the end of a match. And uh, yeah, let's see how he does. El Ghazi didn't really impress me this match. Maybe Bailey can. But that's not a good start just losing the ball there. Menig now still fit because he was also brought in at halftime. But Riedewald defends that well. Feldman doesn't play that out. And a shot. Oh, that is a good strike from Pexwolde. And they equalize. Poor from Feldman. He really should have cleared that. But that that's still a fantastic strike no matter how you look at it. Number six from Pexwolde. I'm not sure who that is. All right, so Feldman has it here. He just stays on the ball and does nothing. Then he runs into the other striker. But that is curled so nicely by a Saimak. Okay. Well, we're back to looking for a winner now. Through ball now for Klasa. Klasa gets through there somehow. Lays it up for Traoré. Traoré can't score a second. I'll take that. Hakim Ziyech again. This time from the other side. A header just wide from Traoré. Just wide of the post. Passing by Pex Volle. They have a great opportunity now. Good save by Tim Krul to keep them out. And, uh, yeah, a lot of players forward. Maybe a true ball for Traoré. Can get us a second goal. Traoré has to sprint. Cut out one player. Now shoot. No, he hits the keeper. Back pass, though. That's nice. Back in for Traoré. Traoré wants a retry. Doesn't get it. And that's the match. We just couldn't put any chances away. In the second half, we played quite poorly. Didn't really create as much as we did the first half. And... Yeah, they had a good goal, and that costs us two points. Not the best opening to a season with two draws and a win, but we'll just have to move on, improve our game, and uh, keep going from there. Doing some more training now. Journey has gone up to 71 overall already. He will probably still stay a squad rotation player though now that we brought in Bailey, but... He will be a very good sub to bring on. Right, we have a transfer offer here for Davy Class of 19 million. We could ask for up to 30 million. He is a starter for us though. And I mean, outside of him, we have Singhava and Nuri behind him. So I think I'm going to reject it. I'll keep him for this season and maybe next season we can let him go. But for now, I'm happy to keep Davy Class our captain at the club. But here we have some bad news. Feldman wants to be transferred. He just doesn't want to stay at the club any longer, so he wants to move. So we'll have to sell Feldman, unfortunately. Now, I know that there is, like, a glitch where you can put them on a short loan and recall them, but I don't want to do that. I want to keep it realistic. So Feldman, we'll be moving him on, and uh, we'll have to take a look at our defense if we want to bring in someone else then, if he moves on. Here we have our first offers for Joel Feldman. Atletico only offering 13 million. Come on. If I'm going to sell him, I want like 20 million out of him. He is worth that. 80 overall at 24. Can also play it right back. I think we should be able to get like 20 million. Him being transfer listed is of course going to lower his value. But I still think that the team should be able to pay 20 million. So I'm going to counter off both Atletico Madrid and Athletic Bilbao with 20 million. Well, Atletico Madrid have... Agreed with the 20 million and uh, Athletic Bilbao have not. That's uh, unfortunate for them. I'll just counter of them 20.5 million because I already got a 20 million bid accepted. And there we go. The deed has been done. Feldman has been sold for 20 million. Um, so yeah, Athletic Bilbao didn't want to go with that. But the board actually came to me a bit on the late side in my opinion. But okay. Saying that we had the choice whether we could sell him or not. So I guess we could have kept him if we really wanted to, but we did already sell him and I'm not too worried about that personally. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. Next episode, we have the Heerenveen game and we're also going to finish off the transfer window. I might bring in another center back, but you guys will also have to let me know your suggestions. If you know any players that you think would be a good replacement for Feldman, let me know. I'm kind of thinking about maybe buying a bit of an older player. We have Sanchez who's 
gonna be good. I want to try to play him a lot as well. And uh, Matthijs Licht, of course, a talent that we have loaned out for one season. So I don't want to really buy someone young who's gonna play for like 10 years. I might want to try to uh, get a bit of an older player in who can just cover for one or two seasons until Sanchez and uh, Matthijs Licht can come through and take over. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more of the Alex Karima, then you can subscribe to the channel down below. And while you are down there, leave a thumbs up on this video, and I will see you all in the next one.